Hey everybody, it's James Quick, and today I want to tell you how to disable preview mode for files in Visual Studio Code. So I might be the only person in the world that has a problem with this. I don't really know, but it's a really big pet peeve of mine in Visual Studio Code that when we open files, sometimes they come in, they open up in what's called preview mode. And so if I do a one click here on app CSS, I get a preview and you can tell it's a preview by the, the title of the file being in italics. It's kind of subtle. The opposite of that, and, and let me backtrack. When I've got something open in preview mode and then I open something else, so app.js, it replaces the app.css with the app.js because the CSS was in preview mode and the next thing to get open just replaced it. So if I keep tabbing through these, uh, it will replace the one that's previously there. So this, I can see how this would be nice. Just a one click on the file lets you see it and then it goes away automatically. For me, this is a huge, huge pet peeve because when I open a file, I want it to be open. And if I'm in a file and I want to close it, I will close it and I use command W as my shortcut to close it so it doesn't take me any effort to close a file. And I, I hadn't really, I hadn't really had this problem until recently and it became like so, uh, such a such a bother for me that I thought I would go ahead and do this video in case anyone else is as, uh, I don't know, just has this pet peeve that the same one that I do. So let's uh, let's get out of here and just just for reference, instead of single clicking on a file, double clicking will open it up uh, as its own file, not in preview mode by um, by double clicking. And this is you can tell this is not in italics. So what I did, I, I did two minutes of research, found an answer on um, on Stack Overflow for someone who changed this. And so I can go into my settings here. And if you go into to settings and in settings, this is where you can customize all of all the things about your workspace. And I, I'll have to go back and, and kind of look at what all these things are. You guys can take these settings if you want to. But down here at the bottom, I've got I uh, got this setting for Workbench Editor Enable Preview set to false. By default, it's set to true, because I bet for lots of people that is a useful feature. For me, it's not. So when I save this and close that out, and now come over uh, to my app CSS, now it opens in not preview mode, whatever the opposite of preview mode is. And now opening another file does not replace it. And this is this was really important for me, by the way, because I, instead of coming over, I usually stay away from the side panel. I close it and I do Command P to open a file, and I usually know what the file is called, so I'll come in and type. Obviously, with just three files here, it's not very hard to figure out what file you're looking for when you've got a big project. Me just kind of being aware of what the name of the files are makes it easy. Or occasionally, I'll go in and look at the file structure. But when I would do the command P to open a file, um, it would open in preview mode. And then I would do command P to open up the CSS file and it would go away and it would drive me absolutely crazy. So again, maybe some of you, some of you guys have the same kind of issue with preview mode. Maybe you don't. This might just be my craziness. But hopefully if there are people out there who are kind of wondering how to change this, hopefully this helps you. Um, and makes your life a little bit easier. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.